The topic of my presentation is differential equations. As we all know, this is a very important topic as it comes at the last part of our calculus in class 12th and this portion covers all the concepts that we have learned of derivative and integration that has been done by students in previous topics of our calculus. So it is a very important topic as it will help me to drill our students for both the topics. So the meaning of differential equation is an equation which involves the derivatives. The differential means derivative and equation we already know. So differential equation is an equation involving derivatives. The topics in differential equations are introduction to differential equation, order and degree of differential equation, formation of differential equation, solution of differential equation, both general and particular solutions. And then comes the methods of solving differential equations in which we will cover the variable separable method, reducible to variable separable method in which under which comes a very important topic that is homogeneous system of equations and then linear differential equations of first order. Differential equations. The formal definition of differential equations says a differential equation is an equation containing the derivatives or differentials of one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. Like ordinary differential equation is that differential equation in which function has just one independent variable. Like example is d square y by dx square plus dy by dx plus y equal to 0. And the partial differential equation is that differential equation which has at least two independent variables like your delta square u upon delta x square plus delta square u upon delta t square is equal to two times delta u by delta t. But in class plus two, we are just concerned with ordinary differential equations. Now, what is an ordinary differential equation? A differential equation is an equation containing an unknown function and its derivatives like dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus a y equal to 0 then d cube y by dx cube plus dy by dx raised to power 4 plus 6 y equal to 3. Now in all these equations y is dependent variable and x is independent variable and these are called as ordinary differential equations. Now types of ordinary differential equations. Linear differential equation. The function y appears just linearly here. That is, there are no powers of the function y and its derivatives. There are no products of the function y and its derivatives. And also, there are no functions of the function y like sine y, exponential y, log y, etc. For example, we can take as say this is y triple dash, that means the third derivative and plus 3y double dash plus y dash minus y equal to 2x. So here you can see that y is no powers of the function y are there and neither of the derivatives. And it's a linear function in which uh, we are not having this sine y exponential y type of functions. Now non-linear differential equation is that if any of the condition previously defined for linear differential equation is not met, then we say that it is a nonlinear differential equation. Like you can see an equation of the form y double dash minus sine y equal to 0 or y double dash plus y dash y equal to 0 or y dash plus y square equal to 0. Now you can see here the product and the powers are also taken. Now what is the order and degree of differential equation? The order and degree of differential equation are always positive integers. This is the very important thing that we need to make our students clear about that order and degree we will find only when the differential equation is having uh, expressed in only positive powers. Okay, the powers are taken as positive integers. Then only order and degree can be searched out. And number two is very crucial thing that if the differential equation is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives, then its degree is not defined. 
okay so a differential equation must be a polynomial equation in terms of derivatives if it is not the case then degree is not defined so we will check out the uh, various examples that how we can make it clear to our students then comes order of differential equation like the order of differential equation it is the order of highest derivative in the differential equation for example the differential equation taken here is the order highest order is here 1 so the order is 1 here the highest order is 2 so the order is 2 for this third differential equation we should make our students clear that no no doubt that the highest power here is 4 but it is not associated with the highest order so for order or degree both we should go only for the highest order terms okay the highest order derivatives now the highest order here is 3 as the power is 3 means third derivative is taken here so order will be taken as 3 and all the confusions regarding this maximum power should be eliminated and should be made clear to the students then comes the degree of differential equation the degree of differential equation is the power of highest order derivative term in the differential equation again the degree is also something which is associated with the highest order derivative like we don't need to see for the other terms which is having more powers okay so like in this first differential equation here the highest order is d2 that is the second order second order derivative is there so the degree the power of this is 1 so the degree will be 1 for the second example like here the degree is 1 because the highest order is 3 and its power is 1 instead of any confusions regarding this maximum power this all should be eradicated that is one and the third one is again an example now here uh, no confusion should be there that the highest power is 5 as they may be confused regarding this uh, degree with a uh, degree of the polynomial okay so here that uh, only we have to see degree from the highest order derivative so as the order here is 2 so degree will be 3 and why it not should be 5 okay and alongside this is also an example which is there that we should make our student while finding order and degree both you have to see just the highest order degree highest order derivative term okay so like here the highest order derivative term is your d square y by dx square so order and degree will be associated with it only so order here will be 2 and degree will be 3 and an example can be taken as the degree of differential equation we need to find uh, for this function d square y by dx square whole square dy by dx whole square is equal to x sin dy by dx okay so why the degree of this differential equation is uh, may maybe the four options are there 1 2 3 and not defined so we always tell our student that uh, this is not a polynomial e equation in terms of derivative so this uh, is not having its degree is not defined so we should make our student clear that the degree of our differential equation is not defined because when we will expand this function sin dy by dx we are going to get an infinite series which will be in increasing powers of this derivative dy by dx okay so the degree will not be defined in such cases that's why we say that it should be a polynomial equation okay in terms of the derivative and example number 2 is just to make the concept clear that the degree of differential equation you can see here in this uh, example the power is not a positive integer it is in fraction so what is the degree or whatsoever we order are we checking the 1 plus dy by dx whole square raised to power 3 by 2 is equal to d square by by dx square so we should make our students clear that we need to express it in positive integer power so we need to square it so that the fractional power is removed so by squaring both sides we can decide that the degree of the differential equation here as we can see the highest order derivative is 2 so order is also 2 and degree is 2 and then more example like Uh, find the order and degree of the differential equation so again it's a very simple one students will be now able to uh, find out and locate it in one go that the order here is as i have to just look here not here okay so order is 2 and degree is 1 and the second example is again same so order i have to see i'll see it from here 
that order here is 2 but the degree is not defined why because it is not a polynomial equation so uh, again that will give me an infinite series so the expansion will be infinite having infinite uh, series in terms of increasing powers of dy by dx so that's why that its degree is not defined so this concept can be made clear to students then comes the solution of differential equation and there are two types of solution one is general and other is particular like differential equation dy by dt is equal to k by the complete solution will be of the form y is equal to c e raised to power kt and this kind of solution which involves the constants that is called as general solution or complete solution and the particular solution can be obtained by fixing this uh, constant like I can give the value as c as 2 as per the conditions of the problem and then y is equal to 2 e raised to power kt will be the particular solution kind okay like general solution is y is equal to c e raised to power 2x then particular solution will be of the kind y equal to 2 e raised to power 2x more examples can be given to students like for a differential equation uh, dy by dx equal to secant x tan x say that if the general solution is like y equal to secant x plus c then the particular solution as per the condition uh, the value of c can be fixed and y is equal to secant x plus root 2 will give me the particular solution similarly for the second example like y equal to 5x cube minus 2x square plus c if is the general solution then particular solution will be like 5x cube minus 2x square plus 5 and for the third same condition y equal to a sin x is general and y equal to 5 sin x is the particular solution of the differential equation. That means a solution obtained by giving particular values to the arbitrary constant in the general solution is called the particular solution. Now next concept is number of arbitrary constants like general solution and particular solution comparison table can be made clear to the student that the number of arbitrary constants in the general solution of a differential equation of fourth order i must tell my students that uh, as four options are there so number of arbitrary constants present will be equal to the order of the differential equation so if a differential equation is of fourth order like then its general solution will be having four arbitrary constants okay but in a particular solution the number of arbitrary constants in the particular solution of a differential equation of third order okay so i must make my students clear that in particular solution no arbitrary constants is there that as we give a fixed value to that constant okay so there is no arbitrary constant so in a particular solution there are no arbitrary constants so the correct answer here is 0 okay so next is we can verify it with the help of example the very first kind of questions are verify that the given functions explicit or implicit is a solution of the corresponding differential equation like xy equal to log y plus c is solution of y dash equal to y square upon 1 minus xy for xy not equal to 1 so here what i need to do is i have to check that this this is the solution of this dy by dx equal to y square upon 1 minus xy solution or not so what i will do is i will just start as i have to get the value of dy by dx so i will differentiate it with respect to x once and then obtain the value of dy by dx and that dy and as it is an implicit function so the derivative will be done like you will start from one side like you will not get y equal to something so using the product rule and as per like x dy by dx plus y ddx of x is 1 equal to your 1 by y dy by dx plus constant derivative is 0 and arranging all the terms i can get the value of dy by dx and this dy by dx is having equal to y square upon 1 minus xy which was my required condition hence in this way we can verify that uh, given function is solution of the corresponding differential equation or not now comes the formation of differential equation now we must make our students clear that the formation of differential equation is something which is associated to the different derivatives okay i have to frame the derivative of function y so formation of differential equation has some rules which we need to follow 
and differential equation corresponding to a family of curve will have order exactly same as number of essential arbitrary constants in the equation of curve okay and no arbitrary constants present in it okay so i have to differentiate it to number of times that all the arbitrary constants gets eliminated the differential equation corresponding to family of curve can be obtained by using the following steps like identify first of all i need to identify the number of essential arbitrary constants in the equation of curve then i'll differentiate the equation of curve till the required order and then i will eliminate all the arbitrary constant from the equation of curve and additional equation obtained in my this step up and if the arbitrary constants appear in addition subtraction multiplication or division then we can club them to reduce it into one new arbitrary constant now formation of differential equation example let us take few examples to understand it well like form the differential equation from y is equal to e raised to power x a cos x plus b sin x by eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b okay so as we can see that here the two arbitrary constants are a and b so i need to differentiate it twice dy by dx then d square y by dx square and the corresponding differential equation i will obtain and this differential equation must not contain a and b okay we can do it by substituting the values obtained from the previous these derivatives obtained so as to get a differential equation which is free from arbitrary constants okay so next example is form a differential equation representing the family of curves by eliminating arbitrary constants a and b in this equation x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so we can make it clear to our students that as it is having two arbitrary constants a and b so i need it to differentiate twice and as soon as i'll differentiate it twice i'll get my differential equation which must be free from this a and b then the next kind of questions which are very important in formation of differential equation are about form the differential equation of family of circle touching the y axis at origin okay so we know we should start with the general equations like i have started for the general equation of circle like x minus e whole square plus y minus b whole square equal to r square now center is your ab for this general equation standard equation and radius is r but as my differential equation uh, required for the family of circle is touching y axis at origin so in this case y axis it is touching y axis at origin that means the center will have coordinates a0 and radius a so the given equation will reduce to the form x minus a whole square plus y square equal to a square now what happens there is only just one arbitrary constant now a left so i have to differentiate it just once and after differentiation i will put back all the values so that i can get a differential equation which is not having even this arbitrary constant a next comes the methods of solving first order first degree differential equations so the three methods which we will take are variable separable method in which we separate the variables towards x towards one side y towards one side and apply the concepts of integration to solve it then comes homogeneous differential equation okay and this we will discuss in our next slides then comes linear differential equations in which two forms we will be discussing to solve the first order first degree differential equations so the very first method is variable separable method okay so this concept should be made clear to student that be it homogeneous system be it reducible to uh, variable separable form by substitution method or be it linear differential equation the main motive is to just separate the variables at last because whatever substitution that we do that are done to get back to our differential equation in to be solved in variable separable form okay then only we will be able to integrate it so substitutions are done just to reduce it to variable separable method so student must understand this method well because at last you have to reach back to this method okay so a separable differential equation can be expressed as the product of a function of x and a function of y 
like dy by dx equal to gx into hy where hy is not equal to 0 then what I will do I will take the y function towards y dy and x functions towards your dx okay I'll bring like I have here dy by dx equal to 2xy square so I'll take y towards y that is dy by y square and is equal to 2x and dx okay and this is called means I have separated the variables next I will write it as say for the integration concepts I'll take it as y raised to power minus 2 dy equal to 2x dx and then it can be integrated easily as the variables are now separated. Now for this example where the easily this your functions can be your y and x can be separated easily like in this question x y dy by dx equal to x plus 2 y plus 2 and find the solution curve passing through the point 1 minus 1. So this is the condition and uh, we will be having a particular solution in this case as the constant will be fixed. Now see from here it is very easily we can find that as soon as I observe this equation uh, I will be able to separate uh, variables like y towards y like y upon y plus 2 dy is equal to x plus 2 by x dx okay and then I can easily integrate using the concepts of integration and the conditions for the curve passes to uh, from 1 minus 1 will give me a fixed constant value that is c is equal to minus 2 and instead of getting the general solution I'll get the particular solution for this question. Then comes a very important form that is reducible to separation of variable form. Now it is something which is very different from our homogeneous system no doubt they are also reducible to variable separable form but this is a special form very few questions are there but we need to make our students very clear about this concept also like the forms like dy by dx equal to a function of ax plus by plus c okay and in these kind of questions I need to substitute this ax plus by as u and then I can uh, take the derivative like du by dx uh, is equal to a plus b times dy by dx and after substitution I'll find that my variables are easily separated they were not getting easily separated it was not itself reducible to variable separable form but after proper substitution okay apart from that homogeneous and linear differential uh, they were a, I, I was able to separate the variables okay and easily the question can be done like an example here is solve dy by dx equal to minus 2x plus y whole square minus 7 okay so here also the substitution can be done I can change it to u and by changing uh, taking the derivatives also my whole question can be reduced to variable separable form so this question will discuss with the help of a very good example like see from here solve the differential equation by using appropriate substitution now here dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 4x minus 4y upon x plus y now what I see here that uh, if I have uh, say studied all these differential equations naturally uh, my student will be doing it in a final examination so he will observe that which form is there okay. So as I can see clearly that the variables are not getting separated easily so it is neither variable separable form nor it is homogeneous form as uh, x y are here but here this is just one so it is also not a homogeneous form and uh, linear differential equation of first order it is not also expressible in that form so what should I do students generally get stuck in such questions so they we should develop their vision that see it like this that dy by dx is equal to it can be written as 1 minus 4 times x plus y upon x plus y okay and after substituting u as x plus y and then uh, taking the derivative or converting the whole question in the instead of dy by dx to du by dx form okay and I will be able to after this substitution I'll be able to separate my variables properly you will find that du will be uh, having d, d, the u function will be separated to one side and x function will be separated to other side and it gets reduced to the variable separable form to which the concepts of integration can be applied and the differential equation can be solved. So we must train our students that 
sometimes they should also go or look for the proper appropriate substitution by which the differential equation can be reduced to variable separable form and we need to give a training to students especially for these questions as they are not able to look for what proper substitution should be made then comes homogeneous differential equations so equations of the form dy by dx equal to f of xy upon g of xy like where f of xy and g of xy what does it means it means is a homogeneous function of same degree in x and y then it is called a homogeneous differential equation for example dy by dx is equal to y cube plus 3 xy square upon x cube this is a homogeneous differential equation as you can see that y cube plus 3 xy square and x cube both are homogeneous functions of degree 3 it is to be made clear to students that how to check the degrees okay and or otherwise i can say that if differential equation of the form dy by dx equal to f of xy will be a homogeneous differential equation if f of tx dy means replacing xy in the differential equation if i'll replace x by tx or lambda x and y by ty or lambda y whatsoever we are using uh, is equal to this t comes out as okay t raised to power n times f of x y the original function f of x y for every t belonging to r then we can say this is this is called as a homogeneous differential equation and this is also very important step to verify that the given system belongs to the homogeneous differential equations so uh, let us start with methods for solving homogeneous differential equation like some questions we can just uh, by looking at it we can just uh, work out that it is belonging to the homogeneous differential equation like find the particular solution that is find the given condition dy by dx minus y by x plus cosecant y by x equal to 0 and y is 0 when x is 1 okay so the equation is involving y upon x okay so this is a form in which we will, we will use the dy by dx instead of dx by dy okay and the substitution we should make our student clear that if it is of the form of dy by dx uh, equal to something a function of xy then the substitution will be of the form y equal to ux and then we can change after differentiation this dy by dx to du by dx form and it will be getting reduced to variable separable form and then comes that uh, alongside the second uh, second type is like the questions like 1 plus e raised to power x upon y dx plus e raised to power x upon y 1 minus x upon y dy equal to 0 now here since it is involving your x upon y so instead of taking uh, expressing it in the form of dy by dx i should take dx upon dy and in such cases the substitution will be like x is equal to uy or by okay and then changing this dx by dy to dv by dy it can be reduced to variable separable form for example let us see find the particular solution satisfying the given condition 2xy plus y square minus 2x square times dy by dx equal to 0 y is 2 when x is equal to 1 so like we see first of all we need to make our students clear that first of all what whenever you see a differential equation a required solution is there change it to dy by dx form okay and after changing to dy by dx form you will be able to locate to which proper form it is belonging okay so from clearly i can see that the degree is same throughout y x y square x square so i must verify that this this process is very important as uh, this is Uh, having a uh, marks allotted in our cbsc examinations that i should train my students to check whether this particular type of differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation like when we frame dy by dx equal to y by x plus y square upon 2x square so i should check for this replacing of x by lambda x and y by lambda y in my dy by dx and when i replace it and you will find that this lambda which was introduced there comes out okay and the original function is retained okay and from here we get lambda raised to power 0 times means f of lambda x 
lambda y is equal to lambda raised to power 0 times f of x y that means we get a f of x y which is a function a homogeneous function of degree 0 and in this question as it is of dy by dx form I should go for the substitution as y is equal to dx and after changing dy by dx to dv by dx form we can separate the variables and it can be done easily it get easily reduced to our variable separable form then comes linear differential equations linear differential equations are expressible in two forms one is a linear differential equation of first order can always be put in the form standard form t y by dx plus p y equal to q where p and q are functions of x or constant or the other side is it is expressible in the form of dx by dy plus px equal to q and here p and q will be functions of your y or constant like here integrating factor is your e raised to power integral p dx okay so y y the integrating factor will be e raised to power integral p dx and like x x the integrating factor will be e raised to power integral dy so we should always teach them in comparison so that students are not confused at the time of examination that uh, whether the integrating factor will be having dy or dx okay and then solution of the differential equation uh, for this particular form will be y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor times dx plus c and for the second one the solution will be given as x into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor times dy plus c now see uh, dy by dx plus 3y equal to e raised to power minus 2x this is my first differential equation now you can see as it is to be made clear to the students that it is neither homogeneous nor the variables are getting separated nor it is reducible after substitution to a homogeneous form but now I should now check out that whether it is of a linear differential equation of first order or not. So I can see I can relate that it is a form which is same as dy by dx plus py equal to q okay where p is your 3 and q here is e raised to power minus 2x. So simply in such case integrating factor can be worked out as e raised to power integral p dx and the solution can be obtained uh, as y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor times dx plus c so here i have taken few examples uh, where the students are facing problems and what in correction they face or what in correction they are doing and get stuck in the question and are not able to finish the question of a differential equation so see what type of problems they are facing like find the general solution of differential equation 1 plus 10 by times dx minus dy plus 2x dy equal to 0 like here we firstly uh, made, made them uh, to reach up to dy by dx that they should get dy by dx equal to 1 plus 10 by upon this is expressed as this this is up to here it is correct there is no problem okay now what happens what misinterpretation is there when a student reaches here that he or she is not able to analyze that denominator is heavier and they must try out for looking dx by dy instead of py by dx so that the proper splitting can be done okay now it is not possible to split it as if it is reversed then the baking is very easy and it will reduce to our particular required form number two is confused and check for either it is variable separable they will be now stuck here uh, looking out for whether it is variable separable or homogeneous instead of thinking for that it can be simply if it is flipped and changed to dx by dy by form then it will be dx by dy by plus px equal to q now what is the need need uh, from our teacher's side is that that we need to focus on developing the understanding of forms and develop their analyzing power through proper drill right the correct thing is that that students when make dy by dx is equal to like when when he or she reaches here he must check that if the denominator is getting heavier let us flip it back let us reverse it like dx by dy will give me this 1 plus 10 by minus 2x upon 1 plus 10 by and as soon as this form is converted you can see clearly that an idea 
comes to our mind that oh we can split the this numerator and we will get as 1 plus 10 by upon 1 plus 10 by minus 2x upon 1 plus 10 by okay and by taking it to other side i can simply express it in the form of this dx by dy plus px equal to q okay and then p and q if the knowledge of forms is made form with them they will be easily able to find that is x and x is there so integral integrating factor will be like e raised to power integral p d y and then the integrating factor can be found and solution as x into integrating factor equal to q into integrating factors time dy plus c and then we can easily execute the solution second problem is that the homogeneous differential equation like this is a question solve the following differential equation 1 plus e raised to power x y y dx plus e raised to power x by y 1 minus x upon y dy equal to 0 now what is there that the main thing is that the student is not in the habit of verifying the uh, that it is a homogeneous differential equation and definitely will be losing the marks as half or one whatever is allotted as per the marks allotted to the question so the very correct thing we need to just remind them again and again that they should verify the homogeneous nature by replacing x by lambda x and y by lambda y so that uh, it can be expressed in the form required form like dy by dx equal to f of xy or dx upon dy by f of xy okay and then what happens that he puts x is equal to by like whatever substitution is required uh, he will do the substitution okay and uh, change it to say dv by dy form also now from here when he or she reaches the this integration portion the student is just engaged in just breaking the terms okay and is expressing it and breaking it in numerous integrals so he is not able to visualize that this is just directly just as this is just directly as f dash x upon fx form okay so we must be uh, must train them also that they should be careful in checking whether which particular substitution will be required and how it is reduced to variable separable form and also that instead of working out for these large extended solutions they should go for this forms they can uh, means their concept of integration should be made firm so that they can uh, take uh, use this formula f dash x upon fx for taking out as log mod form now this kind of mind maps will also help me in devising my topic now as here the mind maps we can just uh, change it to whatever we have studied in differential equations like the definition the order the degree the solution the formation the linear differential equation the homogeneous one okay and the variable separable all the forms and we can just give a proper drill to it so that students can easily remember the content of differential equations and it will be easier for them to solve the differential equation related problems coming in CBSE examination in a very good organized manner. I hope this video will be helpful for all of you to revise, recapitulate this differential equation topic in one go. Thank you so much.